Welcome to today's Financial Insights. In this segment, we will explore the fascinating world of candlestick patterns, focusing on the unique paper umbrella, pattern that traders use to make informed decisions in the market. The paper umbrella is a powerful single candlestick pattern that aids traders in identifying potential market directions. Its interpretation varies depending on its placement within the price chart. This pattern comprises two essential trend reversal formations. The bearish a hanging man, and the relatively bullish a hammer. A distinguishing feature of the paper umbrella is its long lower shadow paired with a small upper body. Now, let's delve into the specifics of when and where this pattern appears. If the paper umbrella emerges at the bottom of a downward rally, it takes on the name hammer. Conversely, if it appears at the top of an uptrend rally, it is referred to as the hanging man. To qualify as a paper umbrella, the length of the lower shadow must be at least twice the size of the real body, a crucial aspect known as the shadow to real body ratio. Let's illustrate this with an example, open at 100, high at 103, low at 94, and close at 102 representing a bullish candle. The real body's length is calculated as close minus open, which is 2. Meanwhile, the lower shadow's length is open minus low, resulting in 6. As the lower shadow is more than twice the size of the real body, we can confidently identify the formation of a paper umbrella. In conclusion, the paper umbrella pattern offers traders a valuable tool for recognizing potential market trends. The bullish hammer is a candlestick pattern that's important when the market is at the bottom of a trend. It looks like a small body at the top of the trading range with a long shadow at the bottom. The longer this shadow, the more bullish the pattern. In this chart, you can see two hammers at the bottom of a downtrend. Look closely, the blue hammer has a tiny upper shadow, and that's okay according to the be flexible, quantify and verify rule. A hammer can be any color, but it's a bit more reassuring to see a blue colored body. The hammer should follow a downtrend, as shown by the curved line in the chart. Here's the thinking behind a hammer. The market is in a downtrend, controlled by bears. During a downtrend, each day the market opens lower than the previous day and closes even lower. On the day the hammer pattern forms, the market trades lower, reaching a new low. But at this low point, some buying interest shows up, pushing prices higher. The stock closes near the high point of the day. This suggests that bulls tried to stop the prices from falling more and they somewhat succeeded. This action by the bulls could change the sentiment, so it's time to consider buying. Here's how to set up the trade for a hammer. A hammer pattern suggests a long trade. When to enter depends on how much risk you're willing to take. Risk takers can buy the stock on the same day, regardless of the hammer's color. If you're more careful, Buy the stock the day after the pattern, but make sure it's a blue candle day. Risk takers check the conditions at 3.20 p.m. on the hammer day. Open and close should be almost the same. The lower shadow should be at least twice the length of the real body. If these conditions are met, the pattern is a hammer and risk takers can go long. Risk-averse traders check the OHLC data on the second day. If it's a blue candle, the trade is good for going long. The low of the hammer is your stop loss for the trade. This chart displays the formation of a hammer in a 15-minute intraday chart of Cipla Limited, both risk-taker, and risk-averse traders could have established profitable trades. Let's break down the trade setup. By price for a risk taker, the risk taker enters the trade on the hammer candle itself at 444. 
Buy price for a risk averse. The risk averse trader joins the trade on the next candle after confirming it is blue at 445.4. Stop loss for both traders. The stop loss for both traders is set at 441.5, which is the low of the hammer formation. Notice how the trade unfolds, resulting in a favorable intraday profit. In this example chart, the risk-averse trader would have gained an advantage by adhering to the buy strength and sell weakness rule. In this chart, we see two instances of a hammer formation. Both hammers met the criteria. The preceding trend should be a downtrend. The shadow to real body ratio must align. The cautious trader, following rule one of candlesticks, would have avoided a potential loss on the first hammer. However, both risk-averse and risk-taking traders might have been tempted to enter a trade after the second hammer. Unfortunately, the stock didn't rise significantly and eventually went down. Remember, once you enter a trade, stick to it until either the stop loss or target is hit. Don't make changes to the trade until one of these events occurs. While losses are inevitable in some trades, it's crucial to note that this is a calculated risk, not a speculative one. In this chart, there's a candlestick pattern that looks like a perfect hammer. However, it doesn't meet the required condition of having a prior downtrend. As a result, it doesn't qualify as a defined pattern. Remember, adherence to specific criteria is crucial when identifying and trading based on candlestick patterns. The hanging man. This pattern signals a potential reversal at the top of an uptrend, suggesting a shift from bullish to bearish sentiment. The hanging man consists of a small real body at the upper end of the trading range with a long lower shadow. This candlestick can be of any color, and what matters is the ratio of the shadow to the real body. The prior trend for the hanging man should be an uptrend, as illustrated by the curved line in the chart. Here's the thought process behind the hanging man. The market is in a strong uptrend, dominated by the bulls. New highs and higher lows characterize the market during the uptrend. The day the hanging man pattern appears, the bears make an entry, evident by the long lower shadow. Bears attempt to break the stronghold of the bulls. Now, let's look at the trade setup. For the risk taker, a short trade can be initiated on the same day around the closing price. For the risk averse, a short trade can be initiated at the close of the next day after confirming the appearance of a red candle. Validation for both risk taker and risk averse follows the same method as explained in the hammer pattern. Once the short trade is initiated, the high of the candle acts as a stop loss for risk management. In this scenario, we're looking at a hanging man formation in the chart of BPCL Limited at a price of 593. Let's delve into the OHLC details, open at 592, high reaching 593.75, low touching 587, and close settling at 593. Now, let's break down the trade setup. The risk taker decides to initiate a short trade on the same day the hanging man pattern appears, entering at 593. On the other hand, the risk-averse trader opts for a more cautious approach. They initiate the short trade on the next day at closing prices, ensuring it is a red candle day. Both risk-taker and risk-averse traders follow their strategies and initiate their trades accordingly. To manage potential losses, the stop-loss price for this trade is set at the high price just above 593.75. Remarkably, this trade turns out to be profitable for both risk types, showcasing the effectiveness of understanding and applying candlestick patterns in trading. In the world of candlestick patterns, 
both the hammer and the hanging man carry significance, but personally, my preference leans a bit more towards the hammer. Given identical circumstances with two trading opportunities, one featuring a hammer and the other a hanging man, I would opt to invest my funds in the hammer. This inclination is rooted in my trading experience with both patterns. The hanging man does give a pause for thought. If bears were indeed exerting influence during the day, why did the price rebound after reaching a low? This observation tends to reaffirm the dominance of bulls in the market. In your own exploration of the markets, I encourage you to formulate your own theories based on observations. This approach will not only enhance your ability to fine-tune trades, but also contribute to the development of a well-structured market perspective. The Shooting Star our last single candlestick pattern before delving into multiple candlestick patterns, holds significant trading potential due to its powerful price action. Visualized as an inverted paper umbrella, the shooting star deviates by lacking a long lower shadow but compensates with a long upper shadow, at least twice the length of the real body. While the body's color is inconsequential, a red real body enhances the pattern's reliability. A more extended upper wick intensifies the bearish nature of the pattern. Though the textbook definition excludes a lower shadow, a small presence, as seen in the chart, is considered acceptable. Being a bearish pattern, the shooting star requires a prior bullish trend. Here's the thought process behind the shooting star. The market is in an uptrend, indicating bullish control, resulting in new highs and higher lows. On the day the shooting star emerges, the market trades higher, establishing a new high. However, selling pressure ensues at the day's high, leading the stock to close near the low point, forming a shooting star. The entrance of selling pressure implies successful bear intervention, poised to continue in the upcoming sessions signaling potential shorting opportunities for traders. Let's analyze this chart featuring a shooting star positioned at the pinnacle of an uptrend. Looking at the OHLC data, open equals 1,426, high equals 1,453, low equals 1,410, close equals 1,417. Let's explore the short trade setup. For the risk taker, the trade is initiated at 14.17 on the same day the shooting star forms. To confirm the shooting star formation, the risk taker checks two conditions. Ensure the current market price aligns closely with the low price. Verify that the length of the upper shadow is at least twice the length of the real body. For the risk averse, the trade is initiated on the next day confirming the formation of a red candle. Once the trade is live, set the stop loss at the pattern's high, in this case, at 1453. As discussed previously, after setting up a trade, it's crucial to exercise patience, waiting for either the stop loss or target to trigger. Avoid making impulsive decisions, except perhaps for adjusting your stop loss. We'll delve into trailing stop loss in our future discussions. Here is a chart where both the risk taker and the risk averse would have made a remarkable profit on a trade based on a shooting star. Let's delve into an example where both the risk averse and risk taker traders might have initiated a trade based on a shooting star. However, it's essential to note that the stop loss in this case has been breached. A crucial aspect to remember is that when the stop loss triggers, the trader must exit the trade, as the initial trade setup no longer holds validity. In many instances, exiting the trade when the stop loss is triggered proves to be the wisest decision. Keep in mind these dynamics as we navigate through various scenarios in our exploration of trading strategies. Stay tuned for more insights and practical approaches to enhance your trading skills. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or doubts about trading, feel free to reach out to us on WhatsApp at this number. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. We'll be back soon with another trading strategy video. Until then, take care and happy trading.